What is up YouTube and welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included Season 3. We are just sorting out the recreational room, chucking some what I can only describe as grey wallpaper in. Not the prettiest I guess, but you know, it's what I like to do. And I like to use different colours than last time, so it's nice to do, right? There are, well, there should be quite a few new items to go in this room as time goes on, as we unlock them. Also, the uh, dado rail type thing that goes along the top. I will be putting that in as well in every room where I can, just to pretty things up. Again, the decor is important to me, or at least trying to keep it as pleasant as possible for the wonky asteroid that they are on. So just in the process now of, rem well, not removing, sorry, moving the farm, the and by farm I mean ranch, down to a lower level so that we can keep this level for bedrooms or something more useful around that area, something more pleasant. The, the farms don't really need to be right smack in the middle of the growing area, right? It makes no sense. Uh, to do so, it's quite easily just to wrangle them up. The rancher will do that. And then for the eggs, as you can see, set them as level 10. Uh, they will immediately move all of the eggs into that new storage container. And then you drop them out of the storage container by unselecting them. If you leave them in the storage container, they will not incubate. So you have to take them out in order for it to work. You can see all of them are getting wrangled up now nicely. Again, it does appear that the actual rancher does not move them per se. They wrangle them and then the actual people that do the delivering, the duplicates that do delivering actually do the moving. Which is probably why I've struggled in the past because I've never really concentrated on having movers. Now we do and you can see they're moving down there nice and quick. And I think we're talking about eight. Yeah, eight at the minute. Uh coal wise 14 tons so that's gone up nicely now we could have dug some of that out it's not necessarily from them but remember due to the efficiency of the smart battery we won't be wasting any just checking on the research or pushing through the research for this tier 2 research which requires the normal station and the supercomputer of course getting onto then the yellow we will need to look at the rad bolts which that's it reasonably easy setup to do either you can use the atmosphere or with it let's say the, the lack of atmosphere the radiation on the on the surface of the planet that we don't know where that is but using one of the wheeze warts is definitely the easiest way i use two or three and that usually works nicely you can see there we are surrounded by quite a lot of heat and um, i am going to have to build into it at some point but I think before I do, I will likely sort out the power spine so it's not connected to the base. The power spine, the power generation, the refinery for any of the critters, uh, hopefully can be elsewhere. Um, earlier when I made that scaffolding, I am now co confident that we can rip out the actual tiles. Uh, we have enough sort of gases or at least gas pressure to accommodate this space the left hand side you can see i've just put in incubation tiles to stop that geyser and any of the heat coming from that geyser interacting with it so hopefully now the farm bottom left for reference on the screen i've moved to the hydroponic tile farms where you can put uh, the liquid in them that you need to so that one up, higher up can come down again the farms and ranchers don't need to be right smack in the central part of the base also be careful because when you're using water and liquids etc and you're pumping it into the farms that liquid temperature will eventually hit the farm now certain farms like what you need for the reed fiber where you're using polluted water is quite high in temperature by definition and it holds temperature very well so it's best again to move them outside of the base you can see there the base is holding nice and green at the minute that power spine is getting a bit warm i have done the automation on the duplicate sensors by the way if you hadn't noticed already in the kitchen above the grill you can see happening now and above the research stations also happening now 
and then the mush 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 machine as well so that the lights are only on when a duplicate is actually working on the machine else they are off saving electricity and also not creating silly amounts of heat because the bulbs do indeed create and throw off a lot of heat i wonder if there's a mod that gives us leds that'd be useful unlocking the liquid storage is also great for us because now I can pump all of the polluted water that we've been collecting, of course, throughout this series and dropping it in here. I can now pump that into an actual liquid storage. As well as the liquid that is here that you can see on the screen and to the left of it and above. All of that can be pumped into the storage as well, meaning that we'll clear out this space and we're able to use it for something in the future if we need to. Getting rid of all of these fluids is good because it gives you the space. You can also clean out the slime and get rid of the germs. But you can turn that into clean water. And clean water is essential. Both for keeping your duplicates happy, clean, hygienicalized, if that's a word. I don't think it is. But then also, later, oxygen as well, where you use the electro electrolysis to do hydrogen and hydrogen from it. Now, there is a lot of liquid on this asteroid. A lot more than I'm used to seeing, which is great news. If we can corrugate it all into one place mixing it i'm not going to mix if i can help it not going to mix the clean water with the dirty water i'll try and keep them separate best i can this storage vessel here just needs to be all of this polluted water i will then run it through some sieves and clean it up and with that and a little push to priority level 10 we can get it ripped out reasonably quickly scaffolding ladders to keep them out of the liquid as best I can some puff pastries there flying about not interested in using them they basically turn the gas into its solid counterpart like polluted oxygen into polluted dirt and oxygen into oxalite etc I'm not convinced that they're going to be any use for us as of yet or moving forward, I certainly don't have any plans for us. But what I do see on the left-hand side there are wheeze warts and the sleets. The cold sleet things, whatever they're called. They're also useful as well. So we will be digging there. At the minute though, the abyssalite that is between us and that cold biome is what's stopping anything from being messy. So I am going to continue to do so. Continue to work around the abyssalite. Because the abyssalite is the gatekeeper of biomes in terms of temperatures, hot and cold, and the mixing of. So if we can break into there neatly with a couple of insulated doors, that would be a lot tidier. I want to try and just pay a lot more attention because in the last season I did get uh, a few issues with temperatures. Now we did near the end fix it using the cold biome. But, of course, it was never going to be permanent. And I would say, luckily, the, the actual series crashing uh, meant that we didn't have to find that out the hard way. But, nevertheless, it's something that I want to try and do a better job of in this playthrough. And just chucking in an extra farm. Quick farm, not a permanent farm. This will be to get some reed fibre coming in so that I've got some. Both for the suits, uh, for paintings, for the decor... And then some schnazzy outfits I'm going to try and give a go as well this time. We do have quite a lot, including the Christmas jumper that will be hilarious to see somebody running around in. So we will go for it. Now I have taken the eggs there for the shine bugs. And that is because, although I've killed all the shines that we've had, now I've got a control, i.e. this farm area. We can hatch them in here. I am going to get some incubators as soon as possible so that we can speed that process up and make it more efficient to make sure we have an army of hatchlings hatches again i've said hatchlings um but yeah i think it it will definitely work in our favor but for now if i put all of the eggs there then if they do hatch by accident at least they're contained so i've put down the mechanics workstation this is a mod that allegedly allows you to upgrade various div different other stations as long as they're in the same room as it i'm not sure what that means Never used it. We'll find out. I'm going to chuck whatever stations I have in there, best I can. And we'll see how it goes. This little, what do you want to call it, little globe module thing. 
uh, displacement beacon is what we use to move around the geysers and stuff to make it basically put the geysers all in one place or move things out of the way that are in the way uh, at a late stage so as we dig down hopefully we can move a few bits and bobs around it was a mechanics room now it's an agricultural room I can only assume it is the uh, butchers thing the little looks like a pair of teeth that that's causing it I'm not sure what or how yet somebody is going to work on it so we'll see what they produce and where they take it uh, it reckons it improves the efficiency how you can improve the efficiency on the butchers table I'm not sure unless it reduces the amount of energy it uses or better if it increases the amount of meat you get from butchering the animals not sure reed fiber there going in I think we only have one or two seeds for now but they will spread and refiber like I say is good for making the I keep losing you see that the squirt look the, the tile the ear tile they just keep vanishing no idea why um, and that is not the tiles that are supposed to be in there it's supposed to be air tiles not normal tiles so I screwed that up but anyway the reed fiber is used for the spacesuits the pictures for decor I'm not sure I don't think I need them for the masks no I think that's just metal uh, but yeah, for making the schnazzy suits and the outfits and stuff, you also need a lot of refiber. And can't remember if you need it for the beds. The comfy beds, or if it's just plastic. I think it might just be plastic, actually. After much thought, I've decided that the entire middle section and the corridors will be one colour. And that colour is going to be the orangey diary colour. Sorry, but that's what it looks like to me. Whoops, I don't want it going up there yet. So this whole centre panel, both for the ladders, the poles, which you can see are in as well, and then the corridors as well that go to the left and right of this at certain points. Whether I have just this one corridor or whether I have another one up or down from here depends on how big the map actually ends up being, or the asteroid. Fill this in and get them to do that. Zoom and just like that, it's all done. Uh, what we've got over here. Yeah, that don't need to be set as level 10. So, in terms of calories, 291,000. Again, that's not necessarily decent food. But it's food and that's all I care about at the minute. I'll look at better foods when I can. We do have the spice uh, shaker slash blender whatever it's called slice uh, spice machine so that will make that kitchen level up one uh, we just need seeds to actually convert into the spices which we haven't unlocked as many yet but that's because we haven't dug out into all of these random areas what I'm going to do right, right now is get them to clean up all of the craps all over the floor just to get a, a sense of what do you want to call it cleanliness also the scrap on the floor does count to the decor as in the negative way so cleaning up is actually relevant for the decor there are still rooms we haven't wallpapered and that's by design I'm not sure if they're even going to stay like that yet or not so we'll see these rooms at 96 tiles though is definitely worth it I would say going straight off the bat with the rooms this size I don't have to extend on them later again when it comes to doing the bedrooms I'm not sure how I'm going to do that just yet we'll see going through every single duplicate now and if it doesn't in, if it doesn't push their mood over the limit I am going to give them improved carrying one and two to allow them to carry an additional 800 kilos of whatever basically anything uh, which means that at any point that they are cleaning up ie like now where I'm asking everybody to clean up it will be what four times quicker because by default they are 200 kilos the first level makes it 400 kilos and the second level makes it 800 kilos. So yeah, it's four times quicker. And I think that is an efficiency limit that will last throughout the entire series and be relevant. Again, as long as it doesn't encroach on their mood, their morale. 
that's the only thing that I would not do it for. But I don't think, apart from one that I pushed right on the limit, I don't think any others were too bothered. So that's good to know. And as for it is for this cleaning up, it's going to take a while, so I'm going to time lapse it a little bit. And I think what we're going to do here is let this time lapse to clean up the base, put a bit of music on to let it finish off, and then we'll end the episode with this so that we come back to the next episode nice and tidy and fresh, and we can get on with something more interesting. Just adding a note here as well, the hatchlings down in the bottom right there is up to, what is it, 11 hatchlings now, I think, which is good. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, please like any comments are welcome. As always, subscribe for more. Join us on Discord. Take care. Goodbye. <laughs>